Welcome back to Be Empowered. On today's video, we are going to swap out these factory non-tow mirrors with these gigantic tow mirrors with turn signal. Uh, we've already done the research and it will work with the factory harness that's already installed. If you like the content on today's video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button and share it with all your friends. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that come down the road. Make sure you check us out on social media. The link will be right here or in the description. So let's get at it. To get this mirror off, we actually have to take apart the door panel. And to do that, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket, a panel popper, so that way you don't damage the door. To get the door panel off, to get to the mirror, we're gonna need to pop all these panels off right here. To do that, the easiest way for the, the middle ones is a small flathead screwdriver. And all you do is just kind of push, press underneath of it, pop it off, it doesn't do any damage to the clips. And in the middle, behind the door handle, same thing. The easiest way to get that one off is just from the bottom and press up. You actually see a little hole here that you can stick the screwdriver through and pop it. No damage. Next, you can either take the flathead screwdriver or like a panel popping device and get underneath a piece right here, this plastic piece. There's a little tab in the bottom of it that you may even need one of these to do it right. Like that. You also need to take off your door lock cover. So you just take the flathead screwdriver, a little tab that you just press it into and it pops out. It just pops up and then uh, you can pull it out. It just locks onto the actual rod there that locks it. Now that you got all that off, you need a 10 millimeter socket. You can take the handle off. There's actually one behind the actual latch. It's easier if you just pull up on it. And there's gonna be two right below the other door handle. It's gonna be much easier with an extension. All right, now that you have that done, you need to take off your uh, control panel here for your windows and door locks. Uh, from, you need to do that from the back so you can just stick your, your flat of the screwdriver in. It pops up, there you go, pop it loose, tilt it over to the side, and you'll have, uh, you'll have a few clips here, you, just, you can just press down on it with the screwdriver as you pull up, There's one, two, three, they're all different sizes so you can't mess them up, and four, now you get your control panel on. The next step is going to take your panel popper and go around the outside edges of, of the door and you'll have these little push pins you can just pop those out and once you get that done the door will lift off also if you haven't already done so yet you need to take your panel popper and get behind this little piece here and there's three tabs one of mine is already broken but there's three tabs that just pops right off All right, now that you have the door loose, the panel loose, you just pop this off and you can just kind of lay it to the side because you won't need to remove the, the whole door off. On your door panel here, you can use your panel popper or a screwdriver will work. You'll have a little, you'll have a little uh, clip here hanging right below where your instrument panel was. You'll need to pop that down. This is where your, can, your uh, harness for your side view mirrors are. You'll need to take your little screwdriver Pop this tab, and then you have a little push push pin or push uh, button here. It just comes right loose. You will have to probably cut a piece of tape or two to get it to uh, actually just take the tape off. Should be good to go. You'll have two more clips along the door that you need to pop off. Three, three more clips. I did not see the left. Once you do that, you need to pull back this foam. This pot, it just comes right out and you'll have three 10 millimeter bolts. You'll need to take those off. Now you'll need a deep well socket for these. Let me get my handy dandy assistant Jimmy to come over and help me hold this mirror while I take these nuts off. Yep, and there's a little, there's another little 
pin on the outside that you'll need to just pop loose with your panel popper. And I would use a plastic one just so that way you don't damage anything on the outside. There's a little bit of, little bit of tape on the styrofoam. You'll just have to take off, peel off, your mirror's out. And now we'll put the new one back in. Now that we got this all off, I'm gonna do a little cleaning where the old mirror was. So that way it, it's, nice and, it's nice and clean whenever we put the new one on. All right, let's put the new mirror on. We're gonna use the hardware that they supplied with the mirror. That way, uh, everything is to the spec that they, they built this mirror. For the replacement clips on the door panel, it has these clips that you can put in the door and it allows you to fasten a zip tie to it. Would be good as new. Let's get at it. We're gonna use the, uh, the 10 millimeter socket with a deep well. All right, she's on there. Now all we gotta do is refasten our harness using the supply clips and zip ties, and we will be golden. We're gonna hang our panel back on the door. Now you can start popping the panel back in place using the, the already in place pins. All right, now we're gonna start putting everything back in place, starting with the, the panel, the instrument control panel. That way we can start testing to see if the, the, everything's working the way it should. We're gonna test the mirror. As you can see, it's working like it should. That's perfect. So now let's try the blinker. Oh, nice. Bam! That looks awesome. That's what cool looks like right there. That is what cool looks like. I didn't have blinkers in the previous, uh, in the original factory mirrors, and now I have tow mirrors with signal, and I can see everything now. It is awesome. Love it. Perfect. That just makes this truck, it's gonna, this truck is gonna pop so much better with the front end, the tow mirrors, the everything else we've done to it, and what we have planned. So let's go ahead and put this all back together and start on the other side. Now it's gonna be fast mode. Now that we've done the driver's side door, let's get on the passenger side. All right, now that we got the other mirror installed, we're gonna test it out and make sure it works. All right, looks like it works. Check the blinker. And we're good. All right, we are done with the mirrors. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. We would like to hear from you. Throw us some comments in the comment section on what you'd like to see for future builds. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Throw us a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future drops of videos. God bless you and God bless America.